Congratulations from Kirby Anglong Shines at International Queen's Cup Jump Rope Thailand Open 2022 held at Bangkok. Citizens of Koligang Hills, Lun Sing Teron, EM of Kirby Anglong Autonomous Council. KSA Football Tournament at Tekilangjun successfully concluded on 20th November. Hello viewers, you are watching Kirby Long Live English Primetime with me, Marvelous from Parpe. And now let's hear the news in details. Three youngsters hailing from Deepu brought Laurel to Kirby Long, Assam and India from the International Championship of Jump Rope held at Thailand. Angreen Pangchopi, 22 years old, daughter of Kambura Pangcho and Fudang Terangpi, residents of Lorulangso, Dorson Ronghang village, Deepu. Sabimet Angrong Tisopi, 20 years old, daughter of Moniram Tiso and Pokila Topipi, residents of Lorulangso, Ronkete, Dipu and Jessica Teronpi, 14 years old, daughter of Don Singh Teron and Renka Topipi, residents of Council Colony, Dipu. The trio represented India at the Queen's Cup Jump Rope Championship 2022 in Thailand. They were three among 25 member Indian contingent participating in the championship. The trio were selected in the Indian team on the basis of their performance since the last few years at national and international championships. The Queen's Cup Jump Rope Championship 2022 held at Bangkok was commenced from 18 to 22nd of November 2022. As many as eight contingents from different nationals participated in the championship. Countries participated in the championship include Thailand, Korea, Singapore, Hong Kong, Malaysia, India, Pakistan and Kazakhstan. Angring Pangchopi clinched bronze medal at 3 minutes endurance open category. Samimet Angrong Tisopi clinched bronze medal at double under open category. While Jessica Teronpi clinched bronze medal in 3 minutes endurance under 15 category. And brought laurel to the Kirby community and to the people of Kirby Anglong by achieving such heights at the international platform. News Dex Report, Kirby Anglong Live. Citizens of Kuligang under Borjan constituency applauds Lun Sing Teron, executive member in charge of sericulture of Kirby and Autonomous Council, for constructing a warehouse for sericulture equipped with staff squatter at DDS Roadside Sericulture Lakhijan, ECC on 21st November. According to reports, 45 years after the warehouse of sericulture built in 1997 to 1998 at Koligang, Sericulture Department of Kirby Anglong Autonomous Council took the initiative to renovate and revive the warehouse in 2022. Earlier, due to the negligence from the authority, the warehouse was abandoned, hence staff quarters, ring well, boundary walls, gates and mulberry trees were dismantled. Therefore, four employees of Sericulture Office at Koligang had to tackle the wave of consequences while performing their duties. Hence, Lun Singh Teron, newly elected EM in charge of sericulture, paying heed onto this matter, inspected the site and assured to provide new warehouse equipped with staff squatter for the employees. As per his assurance, the construction of sericulture warehouse, staff quarters, ring wells and proper boundary walls of the office had begun recently. The villagers of Koligang applauds Lun Singh Teron, executive member in charge of sericulture of Kirby Anglong Autonomous Council, for renovating and constructing a warehouse for sericulture equipped with staff's quarters. Lun Terang's report from Bukajan for Kirby Anglong Life. With a vision to uplift sports culture within the region, Kirby Students Association, Tekelangjun branch, in collaboration with KSA, Malongari branch, organized football tournament at Tekelangjun which concluded successfully on 28th of November. The tournament was organized at Chekso Langso Playground, Malong Ari, Tikilangjun. The closing ceremony was chaired by Joyda Terang, President of KSA, Tikilangjun Branch, Mir Jankro, Vice President of KSA, Central Executive Committee, attended as the chief guest of the event. Barnabas Killing, Cultural Secretary, CEC, Jising Ronghang, Vice President, be at college and several dignitaries of the region attended the closing ceremony of the football tournament. The final match of the tournament was played between Aturkimi FC and KSA Malongari at full time. 
KSA Malongari branch scored three goals while Aturkimi managed to score only two goals against KSA Malongari. Therefore, KSA Malongari begged the victory title of the season. See, the high tournament ki bhi ke lage. See, platform ki bhi. Kal toh ma da local players sa tum han alang li tum han pachang thuriya han. Apan la sports culture ke wanji han chot kali. Ok pran ki ki me nahi kosong se la sports culture develop. Kal toh ok pran ki me ma kala bang so ta isi idol ki bora sa. Something in this report from Dokmoka for Carbian Long Life. And that's all for today. Thank you and have a nice day.